Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Esther Githu. You are in Washington. 60% of the world's cocoa production comes from two countries in West Africa, Ghana and Ivory Coast. But for years, the farmers behind the beans have been struggling with low income, raising concerns about the sustainability of the cocoa industry. The two nations are working to increase farmers' incomes, though farmers say a lot more needs to be done. Stacey Nott has this report from Asikesu, Ghana. Emmanuel Nojo has been growing cocoa for 20 years to support his family. But like most cocoa farmers in Ghana, he struggles to make ends meet. We need uh, cocoa buying companies to support uh, farmers. But when he asks for money from cocoa buying company, they say no, they don't give pre finance. In Ghana, 800,000 households rely on cocoa. The cost of growing cocoa is high and prices are dictated by a government agency based on the global market. The result is that farmers are often left with low incomes. Adding to their plight, many farmers do not own the land where they plant, making their future uncertain. Lifelong cocoa farmer David Servor has been told the land he farms on might soon be sold. Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire are West African countries who help in cocoa. By listening to the news, I've not been hearing Cote d'Ivoire is selling their lands to people to be doing different things. But always Ghana is selling their lands, destroying our cocoa farms. How do we have future in this? Ghana and Ivory Coast this year discussed forcing a minimum purchase price on cocoa buyers. But they pulled back from the plan in July, instead adding a $400 living income differential for every ton of beans that farmers produce. Ghana's cocoa industry regulator says improving farmers' incomes is crucial to keep them growing the beans. Farmers feel that they've not been rewarded enough for their efforts. It's a major threat to the survival of the cocoa industry in Ghana. Authorities say the new fee will help farmers earn a minimum price per tonne and pay more to cocoa farmers like Nojo. However, Nodjo says it may not be enough. They have, uh, they are, they are mentioned of $2,600 uh, uh, for, I think, one ton and this thing. To, to mean they, they can give more than that. Nodjo also wants to see more cocoa products manufactured in West Africa, so farmers are less reliant on exporting raw beans. Currently, Ghana and Ivory Coast make only about $6 billion of a global chocolate market worth more than $100 billion. Ghana's farmers warn their incomes need to improve if they are to keep producing the world's cocoa. Stacey Knott for VOA News, Asikesu, Ghana.